The most interesting thing that's gonna happen October 17th is how the world sees us. starts at the center of Smith Falls, and it goes out to all the places around the globe that you see. Even though we've grown from five people, it will be the same message that's been around the whole time. People really believe in what we're doing, they're passionate about the company, and, and you can't achieve what we've achieved without having that kind of a culture. we filed a lot of patents. We've figured out a lot of things, and when you add a zero to the scale, you change everything. We're building on this massive scale, and we're going to take all of that learning and apply it to these other markets. Before the country's thinking of doing it, they're already in that country helping them think about what they're going to do. Canopy is on a roll. It has momentum. The rest of the world looks at us and says, oh my god, we live in the Stone Age. Look at Canada's doing. We have all of those pieces. We know how to build something quickly. We know how to build it right. And the effect of that is they have a lot to learn and we have a lot to offer. Typically, the headline does not read, innovation initiated in Canada to lead the world. But when it comes to cannabis, it is. For five years, this has largely been an exercise about credibility. When this all started, the idea that anything would be happening with cannabis anywhere was a big deal. Then with Constellation, then we started looking at it and saying, well, why wouldn't we actually ask the New York Stock Exchange, would you like to have the first listed marijuana company on the New York Stock Exchange? And, and quite appropriately, their answer was no, of course not, that's a terrible idea. And Tim did a great job because he came up with one question I think actually changed everything. He said, well, what if a company listed on New York Exchange bought us, would they have to leave? I got a call and they said, congratulations, Tim, the board of directors for the New York Stock Exchange met just on Canopy and you guys are in. For us, it's this continual progression of building something that's not just a cannabis company and everybody's proud of what we're accomplishing. Canopy is a thing you buy stock in and that's because it's very nice to be under a canopy. A tweet that says, come on board, we're gonna welcome you, we're gonna be capable and confident, but we're also still gonna have fun. And then Spectrum says, we're all gonna get old, a bunch of us are gonna get sick in different ways. Whether it's the people who have to go through oncology or can't sleep, medical cannabis will no longer be a fake name. It'll be a real name because it will be medicinally validated and there won't be anybody who says it can't do what we can make the claims it does. Canadians have for many, many years been used to getting their cannabis from a guy behind a store. The only information you have is what that person gives you and by definition you can't trace it back and that's going to change. So October 17th, I think is fairly easy for us. You know, it's not necessarily about the first order or the second order, it's about the third order and the fourth order that a province makes and that retailers make. That we need to be ready, not just with product day one, but with product for three months in, six months in, and that we have a sales team that is out and ensuring the education happens, that people pick the right product. And when you get your first experience, it's such a well-informed, positioned, curated, knowledge-driven education platform you've walked into. You're not gonna walk away from that saying, wow, I got some dank kush, you're gonna walk away from that saying, I got some great value, I actually appreciate how this works, and I trust them. Think about the, uh, the next year, it's uh, building out the bench, the talent, the, the, the systems, allowing us to continue to scale up with the pace of activity that we have in the works. We started as a medical cannabis company, and that has now spread into a recreational cannabis company, and we'll see animal products, and we'll see CBD-focused products, and then we'll see it across a bunch of regions. We're not trying to tell people what to do or sell them anything. We're just giving them enough to think about that they have to actually think. And when they think, they might decide that cannabis could be helpful for their pet, maybe for them, maybe medically for somebody around them. Maybe it's a better option for them to socialize with. But what we're trying to do is just make them think.